I know Gavin Newsom's got his hand full. He's mired in a recall and fighting for his life, his political life. But you think he'd have some idea about what's going on in his state, like, for example, crime, up or down? What do you think? There are some people that say some of the policies championed by Democrats, like Prop 47 others, are making crime worse. Yeah, the, what do you say to that? Well, the evidence doesn't back it up. The last three decades, we've actually seen a significant decline in uh, crime in the state. You're seeing crime increase in red states that had no criminal justice reform commensurate with the crime rates that we're seeing here in California, particularly as it relates to gun-related crime. So I think that's a, an easy scapegoat for folks. Right, I just love the way he talks with a mask indoors. It's so refreshing. Wrong again, Mr. Newsom. Last year, the Golden State saw its highest level of homicides in over a decade. And now, thanks to a lax crime law, which is in inexplicable, they will not decriminalize or prosecute any theft under $1,000. Stores like you're witnessing right now, these aren't actors, are being ransacked by shoplifters. But he says crime's going down. Leo Terrell, Please put some sanity into this conversation. You're a lawyer. You know the law. What is it like in California? I live in, Brian, thank you for having me on the show. I live in the worst state in the country. I live in the worst county in the country. I live in the worst city in the country. In Los Angeles, we have George Gascon. Let me tell you how bad it is. Prop 47 was a horrific bill. It reduced crimes that you're watching on television from a felony to a misdemeanor. Gavin Newsom is lying to America when he says crime is going down. Where was he last year, Brian? We had riots in California every day, Bernie and Lou. We have defunded the LAPD. We have a district attorney who is so he is so friendly to the criminals. It's outrageous. He is lying. He's in a desperate race for, re, for because he's being recalled in the deepest, bluest state ever. Don't worry about it. Help is on the way. Vice President Harris has added something else to her checklist. Let's take a look at what she's done so far. She's leading the Democrats' voting rights effort. As you see, that's, I'd love to check the box, but it's really not going anywhere. She's focusing on the root causes of immigration. I'd love to check that box, but it's not making any progress. And now she's been sent out to California to help Gavin Newsom keep his job. How do you think that'll go? Let me be clear. Kamala Harris is unlikable. She's in that category like Hillary. Remember, she ran for president. She dropped out because she couldn't get a, a delegate in California. She was going to lose California. Her coming to California to help Gavin Newsom is a death sentence for Gavin Newsom. I would not want her in this state. Everything she touched turns to poison. Look at her trip down to the, to the southern border. She avoided the southern border. Brian, she's the worst vice president ever. Right. And uh, I think she really wants to criminalize uh, the she wants to criminalize crime. And she also was trying to bail out rioters uh, during the BLM riots. So Leo Terrell, thanks so much.